Hey everybody. Hello. Hi. Um, we're gonna pick up where I left off last time by finishing off my little water bird bath. Water bath for birds. And I'll just give Facebook a minute to send out notifications and update pages. Okay, so hopefully oh, that better lined up this time. Oh, I'm just going to hang out for a minute and see. If you're catching this on the replay, just go ahead and skip ahead a minute. I'm just giving it time to um, send out the live notifications and then people to see them and go ahead and click and join in and I can usually see when the notifications come up on mine. So let's see, make sure I've got it on the right one. Okay. I'm going to be actually doing three, pretty much three, three to four different projects um, because a couple of them are going to be super quick. So I picked this up at Dollar Tree, obviously. Ours has got so many of these now. Um, so I'm going to do one on this. Um, and actually at Hobby Lobby, I was able to find some magnetic canvases. So I'm going to try one on there too because I've not tried these before. I've done canvases before, but at least for cute magnetic ones. And I even got ones that are a little bit smaller. And they ended up like being less like less than a dollar each. And then I had also grabbed one of these at Michael's for like $1.50. So um, I've got a couple of these that I'm going to trying to do uh, but when I hot glued and used my E6000 to connect these two um, it's been at least 24 hours and it seems to be holding pretty well I don't see anything in there gapped it's not wobbly so and it's heavy enough that it should work in my mom's rose garden that she can use for a bird bath um, so I'm gonna try to do a little decorations around the outside I'm gonna use ink to do it hoping that ink will hold better up outside. Um, so it's, it, in the end, it's really gonna be a test to see if that actually is true. Um, I think I'll probably use, let's see what I've got. I don't know if the silver will be bright enough. Um, so I think I'll just use white. Maybe I'll use black and white and see. Which is, I've grabbed out some little mini transfers just to put on there. Um, like little kind of garden ones. And then I've been wanting to try in the top part um, where I've seen people use spackle on their transfers. I've been a little nervous to ruin any of my transfers, but I have one um, that I did ruin by mistake. It was completely my fault um, that I'm going to try to do on this. Um, and I'm going to try the bottom part first because I've got to get the spackle all out and mixed up correctly. Um, and I am kind of super nervous about using the spackle. Uh, but I'm only going to fuzz these a little bit. So I'm just going to use an old washcloth to do it. Because um, I want them to stick fairly well, but it is a smooth, it's a smooth surface, but it's kind of rough. So it's not completely smooth. Just want to make sure that it sits on there. Okay. I want to be able to see it. If you ever fuzz something too much, you can always take it off, clean it, give it a few minutes to dry, and then stick it back on. So hopefully, and then I'll try the spackle on it. It's just, I've been really nervous since I saw, I saw it and it looked, when they use the spackle on the transfers, using stencils and silkscreen stencils, it looks amazing. Um, I just don't know what happens to the transfer after the fact, um, but I am going to try that. So because it's so close to the edge, I'm just going to be really careful with it. Oops. Hope it doesn't roll away. So I'm going to use ink, hoping that that's going to hold up better outside. I will put it out after it dries and everything. Tomorrow I'll put it out because it's supposed to rain. Um, and just kind of see how it does. It's pretty much how I'm experimenting with these to see what holds up better 
Um, if not, I can, you know, put sealant on it to make sure that it, it weatherproofs it. But I kind of want to see how it's going to do on its own. Um, being that it's going to be in a rose garden, this is protecting it really from any rain. Um, I just kind of want to test it out. But I am going to use one of my smaller squeegees. So it's just a mini that I cut in half. The silicone ones, you can easily cut them in half if I could reach it. Um, just because it's going to be easier to get the small transfer and not go over the line. Ink is a lot easier to use. Um, the drying time, though, is longer. So it gives you more time to play with it. Just trying to be careful around the edges. If you've never used a silk screen transfer before, um, it's got, it's, it's a stencil, um, but it doesn't go all the way through. So you can't like stick your finger through the stencil like you can with other ones. It actually has a mesh lining in it um, that runs actually through the entire stencil. Um, it helps when you're putting, whether it's paint or chalk paste or ink, it just helps keep spread it evenly. Um, and I love them. So I've tried all the different kinds of stencils, all different companies. Um, and I found that these ones are the best made ones um, and so far longest lasting. And I haven't had any issues. There was one stencil that I destroyed that was, that was completely my fault. But it's not destroyed. It's just I screwed up and the stickiness is um, not really sticky on the back so much anymore. So that's the one I'm going to use when I do the spackle. So this is like a peel and reveal. Just want to pull your stencil up evenly. So that should look pretty nice in her rose garden. And it went on nice and uniformly. So I'm just gonna toss that in my water so I can clean it afterwards. And I think I'll put one more on the other side. And I think I'm actually just gonna do the B one. That's really nice and detailed. I grabbed out just a couple. So as you can see, this one, because of the way I cut it, there's some little strings. That's because it's got silk screen mesh running all through it. Um, so you could potentially get a little bit of fraying like that. If so, just trim it up with scissors. And again, I'm fuzzing it just to, I don't want it to be too sticky when I put it on there. I'm just using an old washcloth, which I've used a lot. When you clean them, you can use an old washcloth too. So this, because I've got it on one side, I just want to, I can't really lay it down again, just because I want to be careful and not to ruin it. But I'm placing the transfer a little lower than, it's not centered, it's more lower, just because I want to make sure it's going to be probably on the ground or like this high off the ground um, that you'll be able to see it. But the white is standing out nicely on it, so... Now I just need to figure out when I put it outside to test whether or not I need to seal it. I think the ink's gonna be fine, but just in case. If you use chalk paste, you definitely wanna spray like poly or something on it to seal it, and basically weatherproof it. Making sure I got all my areas. And just put the excess back in your drawer. Okay. Always just try to pull the stencils off evenly. I'm gonna pull it this way so you guys can see their peel and reveal, which is my I think my favorite part. So we get all that detail. And I can see on this one, I got a little bit of white ink down there. Um, so I'm just going to take the Clorox wipe and wipe it off. And I actually did get a little over the edge on this one too. So I'm just going to take my Clorox wipe and wipe the extra white ink off. The ink gives you a lot more time to play with it. Um, so that makes perfect. So I'll show her this and see if she wants me to add anything more to the sides. Um, and if she cares what... I put on the top. So that should work out pretty well. Oh. All right, so it looks like a little cubby for my wax. All right, so 
and I just usually toss them over into my water bucket and then clean afterwards because no one really cares to watch me clean the transfers, do you? I gotta usually show one, but if I've got a whole batch too, I'm like, eh. it's kind of a little boring unless people are asking questions or something, I can answer them as I'm cleaning it. Okay, so there's a couple little mini transfers I didn't use. And then these are, so this is the Dollar Tree chalkboard reusable one, but these are ones that I got on like sale clearance at Hobby Lobby that are magnetic canvases. So here's the magnetic part and then the canvas part. So I'm just think I'm gonna open it up and see. So they ended up being like about a dollar each. Let's see what the plastic. So let's see what they're like. So it just feels like a normal rough canvas, just like the Dollar Tree. Um, and like I said, it was it was just like barely a over a dollar. So I was gonna do my little teacher one for like teacher appreciation. Um, isn't it they've had like, we've all had a rough year. They've got had to do like some weird things. My nephews like really appreciative of their, everyone's really appreciative of teachers this year, which hopefully is a good thing uh, that they get the recognition that they deserve. All right, so gonna do this on the canvas first this is just a sec sometimes you get embellishments this obviously is just an eraser <laughs> it's just an embellishment like an eraser so I may or may not use that and I'm just gonna fuzz it up on the canvas I am actually gonna wax the canvas I'm gonna grab my surface wax I'm gonna wax the canvas a little bit just because let me grab an extra little paper towel um just so that the transfer Sometimes the canvases, especially if they're a stretch canvas, it's usually not an issue. But if they're a canvas that is a flat canvas like this, sometimes they're really rough. And it does feel, it doesn't feel as rough as normal, like the little Dollar Tree canvases, but um, it does feel rough. So this is just going to help me get a cleaner, um, cleaner stick on the transfer, get the transfer off easier. Um, and you can use a mini wax or I've got my surface wax here and it kind of fills in a little bit of those little crevices that are in a canvas um, just to make it a little more smoother for when you're applying paste or ink or paint and it only takes like a minute to to set on it I think I can touch it now so it's not like it's really gooey or wax or anything it's just gonna help you out So, you can't even, it's clear, so you can't even really see it. And this one's unscented, so it doesn't even like smell like anything. Alright. So, pull this one up. And I figured this would be a good size. I'm not going to use the eraser because this is going to fit perfectly on there. And smooth it down just to smooth out the air bubbles because, like I said, it's a silk screen transfer. So, what an air bubble will cause is if you have an air bubble, it'll allow the ink or paste or paint to slide under the transfer and it'll kind of give like a little bit of a bleeding effect. Oh, there's a little dot on my transfer, a little piece of fuzz on there. So, if you see any bumps, just pull it right back up anything off the back side it just picked up like a little piece of the paper towel or something that I had on the table and I'm going to do this in a nice bright color so I've got I haven't used my current jam yet I think I'll use that um, if you haven't used the chalkology paste the new form that all comes sealed with your protection is the foam seal. Keep the foam seal on it because it helps extend the life of it. Um, keeps it fresher longer. So just put it in the top there. Um, anyway, let me get a little bit more maybe a bright red. I've got my glitters too, but let's see. This 
is this is my candy apple. So I've got where's my Scarlet? There's my Scarlet. Scarlet is my favorite red. It's like the truest red. But I love it. This is the red I want. Candy apple is just like a, a red red, um, but the scarlet is like a, I don't know, it's just, it's like the perfect red. It is the discontinued color though, so sorry about that. Um, I think I'm gonna see if I might mix in some, maybe some papaya, as it's like a school kind of color. Yeah, this is my papaya. Okay, so with this, it's gonna be really detailed. Papaya is the new formula, which is seen nice as creamy. Um, Scarlet actually is a new formula too. It was like one of the first jars I got that had new formula, um, but I haven't used it in a while. It's been sitting there, so I'm just gonna stir it up just to make it a little bit easier to use. Make sure I get it all off the edges and in there. I went on to try to get some more scarlet after I'd gotten it um, but I was too late it was already sold out it was wasn't being continued every once in a while they will retire colors and it's one of the tire re colors that got retired but I didn't get the color until right before it retired so I didn't realize I was gonna want more but it is the perfect red I wish they would have retired candy apple because scarlet is such a better red okay I think I'm just going to do like an orange, red mixture. I'm trying to think the best way to do it. Red is actually going to overwhelm the orange when I put it on. So let's see where I want it. Got it. I'm going to grab two squeakies. And all right, so I've got the red. Just kind of making up what color I want where as I do it. <laughs> There's not a rhyme or reason to it. So I'm going to have it like part red, part orange. part of one. I'm going to try to do orange on the rest. I'm going to use a little bit bigger one. So we can just... I'm starting at the bottom because I know once I get up here the orange and the red are going to get mixed. And Once I mix the colors I can't put it back in the jar. Um, it would just contaminate the color more or less. I've got the word teachers, like half orange, half red. It's kind of like fading into each other. Hopefully. All right, so I'm going to peel it up, pop up each corner. did go a little outside a little touch of red and orange here but because it's paste you can wipe up so um so here's this one and i take it out in the fridge and make sure that it's the magnet holds up well so i've not used these before so i do like that so i don't know if you can see or like on teacher where i did like half red half orange Ooh. so it's like scarlet red and then papaya orange That. 
Sometimes it's hard with the light that I've got on while I do these. Oh, that should be pretty good there. And I am actually going to quickly wash that one so that I can do it on this one as well. So, but I might just do it in a different color. To wash these when you're using chalk paste, um, it's just water. You just spray it with water. Tap water is fine. You can take it to the sink and run it underwater and use your fingers. Um, it'll wash glass. I have an eraser, which is similar to um, a magic eraser. If you get one of the little kits, they come with them with my group. And then just like a kitchen sponge, you just put it in the water and rinse it out. I'm going to do the back side, and it's important to do the back side because when I just clean the front side, I actually push things through the silk screen to the back side. So I want to make sure that there's nothing stuck there for the next time that I go to use it and doesn't mistakenly get on the next project. If you can hear the little squeaking that it does, squeaking is good. Squeaking means it's still sticky on the back side because they're reusable. At least, you know, usually it says they say 8 to 12 times, but I have ones that I've used over 20 times. So I'm just going to set it to the side to dry. And then by the time I finish this one, that should be dry and I can do the next one I want to do with it. Okay, oops. Squeegee. Squeegee. Stick in the bucket. Okay. okay. And I was just popping them back in there in the bags they came in afterwards. Actually, I should put the eraser in there. Um, I don't think I'm going to use that for the next one. But a lot of times they come with little embellishments. So this is a 5 by 7 8 size transfer, but it's got the extra embellishment, so it's actually smaller. Where this one is the full 8 by 7 size. But I picked this up, I think it was like, well, it was like $1.50 at Michael's before um, my like 25% off coupon that I had. So it's 25% or 40, I can't remember. Because it was like two different ones, but if it was on sale and marked down, it wasn't. And this actually has, oh, all right, well, I didn't realize that because it's got the clipboard, but I didn't realize on the back it actually has the little peg that you can put in. So the kitchen one is going to be perfect because I can use it in the kitchen and like hold up recipes and stuff. Awesome. I didn't even realize that. It's going to work out perfectly my little stick there but I am going to wax this too just because it's just rough wood it's just unfinished wood so does anybody have any opinions as to color feel free to hit like if you're out there you can see people pop in and out um but it's always good if people like what you're doing or you can say that you don't like it you can give like an angry face I guess like oh I should not have done that project or Maybe I could have improved the color a little bit on that. Occasionally the project doesn't work out. <laughs> I could always, I was thinking I could always to my bird bath add um, some silk flowers to it, which would give color to her rose garden year round. Um, so I might hot glue some of those just under the rim uh, to give it a little bit more. To think of that, to get my flowers out with them. All right, so that's all waxed and ready to go. And when you, if you use the wax or mini wax something, it's pretty much ready to go immediately. So let's see if this, this is a little wet now, so I'm gonna grab my other towel. Which is, of course, I haven't washed this one yet. But I'm gonna use this side of it. There's two sides. Um, one's like a felt side. One's a more like microfiber side. The felt side is designed more to be fuzzing, but you can really do it on either. I just picked the cleanest side, honestly. All right, so.
So because it's got the peg on the back, I'm actually going to easily be able to just set it right on my um, kitchen counter as like a display. My kitchen has pops of orange and green in it. So let me grab my green out. And I'll do my green and my purple. I try to limit my Halloween obsession to my kitchen. <laughs> I try. It, it, it does invade other areas of the house, but I do try to limit it. All right, so these are older paste formulas. So I am going to need to stir it up. Um, you'll find if you like get a jar um, or if you even get a paste packet because you want to try different, different colors, see what you like first. Um, you can put them into jars. And But if you spray any water in there, make sure it's distilled water or bottled water. Um, you never know what's in tap water. And um, if there is something in there, then it you could next, the next time you open your jar, you could have mold or something in it um, starting to grow and you don't want that. But if it does start to dry, the new paste formula, I haven't had any issues with the old paste formula. Like this, it could sit for like six months. It could start to dry out. Just put a little water in there and stir it up. Okay. So I've got my country kitchen and I'll get my purple ready too. I haven't used in a while, so just pretty sad. I'm gonna add just a little water to it and then stir it up as well. And then, usually, if you do have any older jars, I usually just spray a little water in it before I close it up. Um, the water kind of acts like a decoy, I find, um, so that if any air that is trapped in there will use the water that you put in before you seal it up, it'll kind of like suck up that if there's any in there. So it kind of will do that and so it doesn't, you know, dry up the paste or anything. Just a neat little trick that I've learned. Now I just stuck my finger in the green jar. Okay. I used to be such a nice, clean crafter, not spilling stuff. Let me make sure these are out of the way so you guys can see. I realize they were in the way. I just realized they were in the way. All right. Um... So I'm just going to do, I'm going to do a mix of the country and green together. Um, I don't know about the piggy. For the letters, I'm going to do a mix of the, of the green and purple. So for that, I'm just going to use my stir sticks and put on a little bit in different areas. If anybody saw when I did this um, on the kitchen like tea towel, I pretty much did a similar thing. Um, and I think what I'll do is I'll, I think I'll use black for the pig and the bringing home the bring, bacon. That'll really make it stand out. Let me do the black real quick. Sometimes I check the jars. Like I just taste like this is paste, right? Um, because the new formula is so nice and creamy that sometimes it, 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 like, it really looks like the ink formula. Like, make sure that I've got the paste and not the ink. I do try to keep my inks in a separate shell from the paste. Um, just to try to help with that. But, right. Nice. Okay, so now I'm going to put some purple down with the green. And I'm not worried if it touches the other areas. And it might be, I'm probably using more paste than I need to, but kind of figure if I use up my old paste formula, then I can get new paste formulas. All right. Now there's two ways you can do it. You can either use your finger, could have stuck my finger in the jar and put it down there too, or you can use a squeegee. Completely up to you. Um, either way, you're going to get like a messy tie-dye, um, marbling kind of effect. I'm just trying to make sure I get the purple and the green all mixed together and covered, and then I'll pull the excess off afterwards. So how you use the scraper and stuff does matter. Uh, that kind of indicates as to how it's going to put on. It's um, going to make the image look. 
So if I had gone in stripes and stuff, then it would look more like stripes. So we'll get those. All right, let's see how this looks. I know there are some wood pieces. Pretty good. So I was a little worried about these little creases, but um, because of the way I put the paste on it, the paste pretty much filled in where the letters are. It worked out better than I thought it was going to. I was kind of worried that there would be like gap there. So with the little wood piece, once it dries, I'll be able to put it like this and it should stand up like this in the kitchen. But I don't want to tip it over because it's still wet. Okay, so I probably should hold it a little closer so you guys can see it a little bit better. Okay. So I'll be able to use this for little recipes and stuff. Um, and I will, can easily seal it with poly spray after it dries. So we'll keep that one up there. And then my teacher one is dry enough where I can use it again. So, oh, but it's going to be too wide for this one. Well done. Because I had another one that I was going to try to use. But... When I measured it out, it didn't look like it was going to work. So I figured that would be cute for a teacher one. Yeah. If the apple was just a little bit bigger, then I'd be able to do it. Oh, what about this one? Okay, we'll work on this one. So, I'm gonna put these to the side. And this is another like three pack that I had gotten. Um, let me just toss these in my water bucket since they're out of the way. I'm spraying a little bit of water in as the decoy so that any air will suck up moisture. It'll suck up that little bit of water that I just put in, which is. I just used, I have this one filled with distilled water, the other one's filled with tap water, just so I can keep them straight, but. So this was another three pack. I kind of like make sure that if I get any kind of packs that it kind of evens out to a dollar or less, usually. So. But then with these, you can always paint them or stain them or anything, or use chalk paste. I do have extra of these transfers if anybody's interested in, in buying one of the transfers. And then you can make as many gifts if you want, especially for like your kids, teachers. All right, so it does fit in there perfectly. Now I just need to pick a color. Honestly, that's the hardest part for me is picking a color. It's a lighter background, so I want it to be a little bit of a darker color, but I think I'm gonna do so there is the shimmer. I've got my shimmer splash, which is like a pool color kind of blue. It's a deep blue. I also have the crimson. But I think we'll do it in the blue. Shimmers. Oh, I should explain the shimmers, huh? Shimmers are have glitter in them. So I don't know if you can tell by the label, the lid, how you see the shiny little lid. It's super fine glitter. So once you get it on something, it's not the easiest thing to get off, um, but it does work out perfectly. So I'll see how this turns out. If so, I'll end up most likely coloring the wood or staining it or something. I've used this a ton of times, but if you look at it, it looks perfect. Like it was just opened and never used before. For some reason, the shimmers always do that. They always come like down to a nice uniform flat surface. I have no idea why, but I love it. And the new paste formula pretty much is, we believe, it, we believe it's based off the shimmer formula because the shimmer formula is so perfect. So for this, I'm just using all one color. Okay. 
my transfer is actually up on the sides a little because it's just barely fits in here. Uh, which is nice because it's protecting the sides from my squeegee and the paste. You can always use painters tape and stuff around the edge too. Just kind of like know your level of messiness is what I say. Are you really messy when you're doing things or not? I didn't used to be messy, but I kind of am now. All right, so I'm going to pull this up. Don't be in a hurry to pull it up. Just pull it up nice and easy. You can always wiggle it a little bit too. Ah, okay, so that's my favorite one so far. I do love the new blue. But I mean, I guess you could always get a color and do whatever your school colors are for your teachers. I did get a little bit on the edge here, see in the corner. Um, I think that was actually from my finger because I got it on my fingers. But I'm just going to take my wipe and wipe it up. Because it's chalk paste, you can wait till it dries to do it, too. Honestly, you can stick like a... A lot of times I'll take a little Q-tip, dip it in water, and just put it in there. If you're nervous about touching the paste that's in there, just wait until it dries. I just came really close to touching the paste, so I'm not going to stop. And I'll get the rest of it afterwards after it dries. So, I love that one. It came out perfect. Might do some more like this in some different colors or maybe paint the boards. But it fits in this one so perfectly. Love it. I even like it better than the magnet. Although I probably could... Well, okay, I could seriously turn this into a magnet. Because I don't care too much for the canvas, but I could hot glue this on here and use it as a magnet. Well, I think that's what I'm going to do. And I've got three of each. It's going to not be perfect. So, I think I'm going to combine these two. I don't really care for the canvas. But I love this one. And then I've got my little thing here with little pop-ups. I actually did four tonight. And it's been like 37 minutes. So you can see how quick and easy these go. Um, and then, oops, and then this one. Right. And I was thinking about taking some of the flowers and Um, and hot gluing them to down here. I don't think I'm going to do that tonight. I'm going to talk to mom and see what she wants. If she wants sunflowers or roses or what she wants. Um, she may say no, none at all. So, but I could always do something around the edge too. I don't know. Maybe I'll look at some pictures of what are on bird baths. So I do have a butterfly and stuff that I could put in here. Um, and like I said, what I'm going to put in here because it's going to be filled with water. I'm going to use the spackle on a transfer just to see, you know, how it sits and forms up and stuff. So wish me luck on that. That'll be, um, that likely will be tomorrow night's project or the next night. So just tune in or hit like and follow my page. Um, because then you'll get the live notifications the next time I'm on live. All right, everybody have a good night and I'm going to sign off. I know it's raining here, so hopefully it's not raining where you are. If you can hit like, comment, catch me when I'm live, and hit share to get entered in the weekly drawing. Good night, everyone.